Hey, what is going on, my brotherhood? Welcome to another new episode of our Pokemon Phoenix Rising Let's Play. If you're excited, I hope you are, head on down to that like button. Show it a little bit of love for me. Let it know that you love it. And uh, I hope you guys are excited. Uh, I started this Let's Play during my uh, week of quarantine. I actually ended up going to the hospital. Uh, I tested positive for COVID-19 and was uh, forced to be in the hospital. I was actually in the ICU for a whole week. So um, my question of the day to you guys is what has COVID-19 done and how has it affected your family or your livelihood or your, you know, in general, all that good stuff? I'd like to hear about it, you know. Um, these are really scary times we're living in right now. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be brutally honest. I was close to having to become intubated. Uh, you're from Nocturne Town. Do you happen to know Professor Lotus? Yes, I do. Really? There, here's a bit of gossip. I would babysit Professor Lotus when she was a child. Interesting, right? She has loved Pokemon for as long as I've known her. She never slept very well, but she loved to cuddle with my centret. Cute, right? Now she's a professional, but we see each other from time to time. Well, that's cool um and if you guys don't know once you're intubated it doesn't matter your age or anything apparently you only have a 42 percent chance of getting through that and that is super scary i'm telling you guys that is super scary uh i'm i'm not doing saying all this to you know like try to frighten anybody I just want everybody to know the facts that you know because there's a lot of people going around talking about how COVID-19 is nothing to be wor worried about that you know you shouldn't care nobody's nobody should be worried about it uh, if something happens it happens to people all the time but this is a real epidemic you know there was a big strain of influenza during the 1920s I believe it was that you know okay we got a love ball nice um that uh spread throughout the world and killed millions of people so it's it's a real thing i'm not going to talk about the whole episode but i want you to know why i was out for a week so i spent um let me see here i'll look at the calendar real quick i was in the icu from Monday the 13th till I was moved up to a normal hospital room on Saturday the 18th and I was finally able to uh, get off oxygen that day and then I was released the following Monday and I've been home for a week I wanted to spend the week recuperating though relaxing uh, I believe we have to go north but I do have some pokeballs now so uh, and we are gonna play this as a uh, uh, as a uh, Nuzlocke so I got a Pokeball and a Love Ball so I kind of want to go catch something um actually I want to kind of look at the map real quick where's the town map is it in our bag do we have a map Okay, there it is. Use. Okay, so we're right here. This is Route 1. So if we can catch a Pokemon, we can catch a Pokemon in Hawthorne Woods and in Route 1. So I get, I think for right now, we'll just go ahead and go north and advance in the story a little bit. And then we'll come back um, and catch, uh, catch those two Pokemon for our team. Um... But again, I just want you all to know how serious it is, how um, you should be taking it seriously, and, you know, do your part. Please, you know, please go out, and uh, if you have to go out, make sure you're social distancing. Uh, get a mask, wear one. This guy doesn't believe me when I say there's a bona fide fighting Pokemon in Trade Farm. You're a trainer, right? If you manage to catch one of them and show my friend here, I'll give you something good. Okay. Cool, new quest, nice. Oh, and I do have some uh, sprites for our Pokemon that I'll be putting up here. 
Uh, I won't put them up every episode, but, uh, uh, like, if I catch the Pokemon this episode, I'll have the sprite for the next episode. So, hmm, a standard but an interesting assortment. Greetings, I'm an experienced bookshelf critic. Books are pieces of art. Don't take them for granted. Well, thank you for your interesting facts, bud. <clears throat> but, again, I do want to know what you guys, uh, you know, what how, how you guys are getting through this right now. Your struggles. I'd love to hear about them. I've had such a wonderful support system through my family, friends, and everybody. Uh, just being so uh, caring and loving in everything they say and do. So, just a, a bunch of wonderful people helping me. Um, but it looks like we got a group of people up here. Let's find out what's going on. So, how do these crazy stones work? I am very glad you asked that, kind sir. My evolutionary gems work by magic. Magic? I don't believe in magic. It's the magic of evolution, my friend. Give me one of your, give one of your gems to your Pokemon, which watch it evolve before your eyes. Instantly, your Pokemon will be stronger, faster, with more attacks. Can they evolve any Pokemon, Mister? Any and every Pokemon. Uh, uh oh, here come the cops. Citizens of Tranquilo Town, this man is a fraud. He wears. His wares are counterfeit. What? A fraud? But he sold us all this stuff. None of it is real? Now, let's not rush to conclusions, folks. I am but a humble salesman, a small business owner. To think I would rob you sweet, kind people. You took me in. You who took me in. You who invited me to your homes. Why, what manner of monster would reward such graciousness with deceit? Not I, certainly. I speak no lies. However, who is this woman, huh? Maybe she is the fraud here. On what authority does she claim that I am a fake? This is Professor Lotus. She studied at Trinita University. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Wow, a Pokemon professor? She's going to know. She's got to know what she's talking about. Yeah, and where did this guy even come from? I thought you knew. You don't? No, I thought you were the one who knew him. Who is he? As if I know. All I know is that he sold us all that junk. This is the junk that you sold us. Yeah, it looks like junk. I want my money back. We are. We all deserve a refund. A refund? Oh gosh, he's backing up. You want me to give you money? Oh what? What? That was interesting. Where'd he go? He disappeared. There's no trace of him or our money. <laughs> Hello, Mock. I noticed you in the crowd watching. Stunning events, really. Such a simple situation, but a dramatic turn. Now, did you come all this way to search me out in Tranquilo Town? That's very brave. I apologize for the delay uh, for the delays experienced here. <coughs> the conflict at hand ex escalated in unexpected ways. Although it seems that Tim was happy to handle the issue himself, I have a lecture in mind about protocol for when I see him next. Growlithe, then, a wise choice. The best abilities of the three. Moreover, their, their evolution is known for their high offensive statistics. Mock, this is Farmer Terrence. He is the owner of Trade Farm. His mill tank herd produces most of the Moo Moo milk for the region. Hi there. Sorry we had to meet under these trying circumstances. As you witnessed, the people of Tranquilo Town have been tricked. Yes, indeed. That man watered into town about three days ago. We were all planning for the festival, so we ain't no noticing much going on. Oh, gosh. This guy's got a... I should be talking in that accent. But he seemed all right, kind, courteous cat to himself. He told us about these here stones that he's been selling. Magic stones. More specifically, stones used towards the purposes of Pokemon evolution. Terrence and I have been colleagues for many years with his farm. He, has, he was therefore familiar with my work regarding artifacts and mythology. The festival around and our man's magic stones so well, obviously. Terrence was surprised, uh, uh, suspicious of the man's quick turnaround, and called me. And you saw the results of the confrontation we had planned. Perhaps if we had not been so cavalier about this. Professor Lotus, you'll find him. I have the utmost faith in you. You're the most talented doctor I've ever met, Professor Lo Lo Lotus. You stopped that vomit from stealing anyone else's wages. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come to rescue us. I love you. I don't know if I love you. 
Well, Mock, we need to talk before you depart for Trinidad. This is very important, but I need to I need to help search for the Swindler. While we search, I would recommend training your Pokemon at Trade Farm. Trainers in my farm Oh, okay, hold on. Trainers in my farm are always raring for a Pokemon battle. It might be good for you, Mock. Oh gosh darn, they keep switching. It might be good for you, Mock. I will find you as soon as I can. <laughs> Alright, so that was kinda interesting. Quest complete. Life like a lotus. New quest: Swindler shenanigans. I like doing voices when I can, when I, you know, when I remember to do them. So I think they're fun. Ooh, let's go talk to these people. Find out what's going on at the Pokemart. These magazine stands always have different wares. I've seen some outrageous stuff in some of these. I bet you have. Is there multiple floors? I can't wait to try on some new outfits. We're currently getting setting. Uh, we're currently setting up a new clothing store. Check back later. Well, that sucks. Let's talk to this bug catcher. A drive, is that you? <laughs> the Pokemon at Trade Farm used to be too tough for my team to handle, so I stocked up on potions here. I'm out of money, but now nothing can beat me. Cool. All right, let's talk to this person. All right, we can get some Pokeballs. I'm gonna buy ten. Ooh, a Premier Ball. Nice. And we got one of those in bag. I'll buy four more. Uh, I'll get a couple antidotes. Get a Paralyzed Heal. It's a travel pack. Everything a traveler should need on their long journey in Hawthorne. Consumable travel pack used for one fast travel trip. Ooh, nice. I don't know if I'm going to buy that right now, but... <coughs> um... Get like four repels. Uh, I'll get one more paralyzed heal. That leaves me with three thousand. Oops, no, 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 no. How do I get out of this? Crap. And I'll buy. That's weird, it won't let me... There. Oh, I didn't talk to this person. Pokemon centers are fine and well, but they won't help you out in the field, you know. Yeah, that's very true. I thought this was an elevator, but apparently you can't go in there. Alright, so let's finish exploring the town, then we'll go to that trade farm place. Ooh, there's some berries over here. There's a rare fighting type Pokemon in trade farm. Of course, I've never seen it. Maybe it's made up. I think my pixel rate's like crapping out on me. Peach a berry. Some construction going on over here. Oh, this is a... Whoa, you can't go through here right now. A tractor broke down and we're still trying to move it. Come back. Okay. So that's probably where we're supposed to go after we're done in this town. Ooh, is this berries? Oh, you can't grab those. Okay. I, oh, I didn't go in this house. I love that they brought back the Pokemon following you in this in this uh, fan-made game. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a Pokemon on the table. Are you familiar with PowerPoints, PP? I thought you might. You seem like a smart kid. Keep up the good work. Okay, Ether, nice. Hey! Who said you could take that? Just kidding, it's a PP guy. Everybody knows it. Forget I said it. I thought I was gonna get in trouble, like, like have to have a Pokemon battle or something. Alright, let's head over here. I thought there might be Pokemon in these like patches of grass that you, but I haven't had one come up. Okay, and this is where the farm is, I'm assuming. Let's go talk to this guy. I heard some gay houses have shops in them, so I came here. Not this one, it seems. Oh, too bad. Oh, there's a Beautifly. Cool, I like Beautifly. I love movies. When I grow up, I'm gonna be in a movie. 
Whee! North of here is Trade Farm. Beyond that is, well, mostly water, I think. I wonder when we get the fishing rod in this game. I don't think the, whole, the entire game is out for this, so... Is this a trainer? If you find yourself wanting to speed up a battle, press Z to speed it up or slow it down. Can I do that for, like, running... Oh! Finally! Oh. When two trainers lock eyes, we must battle. Alright. Come on, youngster. Youngster Oliver. He's got a sentry. He's got two Pokemon. Ooh. I should probably go back and catch some Pokemon. Oh, I forgot I named him Akamaru. Dope. Okay, after this battle, we are going to go catch some more Pokemon. Because I do not want to get caught up in, like... Like, having uh, to face more than one Pokemon and then get screwed. Like, Sand Attack, that can totally screw me all over now. Okay, it didn't, but still, you get the point. <sighs> Sorry about that, I need to wet my whistle. <clears throat> Let's see here. Go this grass and maybe catch a Pokemon. Oh, come on! I didn't want to run into a kid. <clears throat> He's got a Tailo. Dope. I love Tailo. That was a big hit. I think that was a critical. Plus, I don't want to get so powerful that I can't catch a Pokemon. You know. Okay, here is our first Pokemon. Oh, it's a Tail of Nice. Level 4 Dope! Okay. So, I didn't knock out his Tail when I used Ember, so I'm going to use Ember. Hopefully it doesn't... Oh, come on! See, this is what I was talking about, guys. A rare candy. Dope. Yeah, I can't catch anything here now, so... Hopefully this rare fighting Pokemon is a static encounter. I mean, if it's not, I'm still going to catch it because I want to do the mission, but I won't add it to the team. Gosh darn it, why did that knock out that Taylor? It didn't knock out... Well, I guess trainer's Pokemon are more powerful, but I still think that's crap. Alright, let's go heal up Akamaru, and then we're going to go catch... Um, so... We're at least going to get one Pokemon added to the team, and then we might make it back to Hawthorne. Um, and we might have to end it there. Uh, I'm going to be putting out these episodes. I'm going to do, try to do three a week and get them out uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'll do a bonus episode if, you know, I don't want much. You know, I'm not, I'm not asking for, like, a million likes or, you know, a thousand likes. But, hey, if I get, like, ten likes, I'll do a bonus episode. It's no problem with me. Alright, so here's Route 1. Let's get something good. Let's get something good. Okay, it's not fantastic, but Pidgey is pretty dope. Um, let's just try throwing a Pokeball. Oh, gosh darn it. Um, do I think a Tackle... Yes, it did knock it out. Thank you. Nice. Okay, so it's a female Pidgey. I'm gonna take a moment, guys, and like come up with some good nickname ideas. Pidgey female nicknames. Um, let's see here. Hyoko, it means chick in Japanese. That's cool. I like that. Kaito means fly or soar in Japanese. Peerty peerty. <laughs> well, everybody's heard about the bird. B -b -b bird, bird, bird. Um, it's going to eventually evolve into a Pidgeot, so maybe I should look up... Ooh, 
Ooh, I kind of like that. I'm gonna name, nickname it. Uh, I'm gonna nickname this thing Gale. Let's get back over here. All right, nope, let's gonna add this to the party. This is our first partner outside of Akamaru. Let's go heal up, because I do want to train up our little Pidgey here, our little Gale. And Pidgeot is supposed to make uh, Gale Force win, so that's a cool, I think that's a cool nickname. I'm very happy with it. All right, let's, uh, where is our, there it is. Um, switch with Pidgey. And let's take a look at it. Okay, it's got, ooh, uh, gentle nature plus special defense minus defense. Uh, I don't think that's really that good. I mean, not really. Uh, I mean, at least our defenses are, you know, it's got keen eye, so it prevents other Pokemon from lowering accuracy, which is good. I mean, it's not fantastic, but it's not, it's not horrible. And we'll probably just put, do some switch training here. So... Oops, I went to the wrong thing. Uh, switch. Oh, gosh darn it, I went to summary. Switch in. Yeah, this is the part of the game that kind of sucks. I might... I, I think I might do training off screen, just, just so I can, like help you guys not have to watch this but you know what let's just get back to Hawthorne and uh, uh, catch that last Pokemon oh cutie fly would have been dope um let's see here let's try to beat this thing nice all right I think I'm going the right yeah I'm going the right way um, I don't remember where my house is. Is this my house? Mom? Mom, is that you? Thank you. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to catch, uh, the Pokemon in Hawthorne Woods, and then we're going to call it an episode, and then I'm going to train off-screen. Um, I think that's the idea. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's Hawthorne Woods. I'm pretty sure there's grass here. Wasn't there? Oh, come on. Please don't tell me there's not. Oh! No! I thought there was. Gosh darn it. That sucks. Yeah, I already missed out on a freaking awesome Talo. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to this guy real quick, because I have the tea bags now. I don't even remember if I was put if I already talked to him about it or not. Yeah, I don't have anything to talk to him about. Um all right, well, I guess we're going to call it an episode here, uh, because, I, like I said, I mean, I guess I could train for five minutes and make it a 30-minute episode. See how far we get. I know I don't want to, like, get too much training, you know? I don't want to be, like, over-leveled. Look at little Pidgey trying to keep up. Hopefully it's a cutie fly. No, nope, it's a Pidgey. All right. All right, Gail, you got this, honey. Tackle. Hello, 
Level four. All right, now we gotta go heal. I will, I will train off screen though. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. I will train off screen and get Gale to level six. And we already have Akamaru at level eight. So, uh, and I will, I will go ahead and show up back at Trade Farm. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to answer the question today. How has COVID-19 affected you personally? I would like to know. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' stories. Um, I told you a little bit about mine. Uh, uh, again, guys, all I can say is I'm not stressing this enough. Wear masks, please. Go, uh, go out and get something. I, uh, I would suggest getting masks that have filters in them and breath valves uh, on the sides here that help you breathe even better. Um, if you can't do that, uh, a cloth mask is the next best thing. Um, do your part though, you know, don't go out unless you absolutely need to. Um, there's no excuse of going out just to get a soda or something, you know. I know it sucks, nobody wants to be stuck in the house all day, but again, at the end of the day, we're doing this for our family, for our loved ones, so, uh, and we're doing this for our brotherhood, our people in our lives that mean the world to us, so again, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, head on down that like button. Show it some love. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We're back. I am back. I have missed this. I have missed my community. I have missed my loved ones, my friends. I am back. I am doing this. We're going to play Pokemon Phoenix Rising. I don't know what we're going to play after this, but I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. So until then, I will talk to you all later. I love you all. God bless, and you know, if, if you're not a God-fearing person, whatever, you know, bless, I, you know, just bless you, I love you, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!